Now, Dr. Joseph Cantor with the Louisiana Department of Health says if we want students to have the very best in-class learning experience, we must stop community spread of COVID-19 because even with guidelines in place, if a child or teacher contracts the virus outside of school, then brings it back on campus, that could result in a whole class or even school temporarily closing. Now, the department has reported more than 2,000 COVID cases concentrated in these so-called clusters throughout the state. They fear that number will only get higher with many students beginning in-class learning. Schools have been closed, so um, like we've been seeing cases arise in daycares, we will also see cases arise in schools, there's no question. And as cases show up, we'll continue to work closely with our educational partners to mitigate and, and find the appropriate response, and that may be quarantining a class. It's kind of inevitable at this point. The more people that you have in an area, the more likelihood of, of cases clustering up. So um, I definitely um, will be worried about those kids that are going to school. Even though my kids are staying home, you know, my heart is still with my community. And Now that was just Randy Howard speaking. His three kids will actually attend classes online until at least January in OPSO. But he says even after January, in-class learning is still a huge concern for he and his wife. For now, reporting live from New Orleans, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.